Welcome back to the Football Opinionated Podcast. Today we're doing a Spurs episode covering all things Spurs. This was done before the news about the Super League and all that drama and Mourinho being sacked. And we'll do another podcast soon about that updated. Um, but this one was before recorded before Mourinho was sacked and the Super League plans. All right, welcome to the podcast today. I'm joined by Sam, my little brother, and Marco, massive Spurs fan. Welcome. Hello, thanks for having me. Hello, hello, hello. Um, we're going to do a Spurs special this episode after another shit show last night. Um, we'll start with the Everton game last night. Marco, what were your thoughts on it? Well, yeah, this is it's the same old, same old crap, really, isn't it? It's the uh, predicted, predictably boring and and predictable, and uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, just just too many lacklustre performances, too many lacklustre players. Just, I, I just think they're just too nervous. I don't know if they've been. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. I don't know if they they've been made to feel so nervous that they keep on making these mistakes. I mean, some some of the, the stuff that I mean, those goals that were let in were just just people. Ball watching, Dyer just just not passing, just it just just lapses of concentration. I mean, I I don't know if they're just terrible players or they're just ultra nervous. I just uh, or both. Yeah, I think it's a yeah. bit both because like we do have bad players, but some of the players like uh, Lo Celso, Bergvine were all playing well start of the season, and now it's like if they make one mistake, they get shouted out or digged out in the media. So. Oh then they are, that's why I think they're so scared, like you said, to make mistakes. Do you, do you agree? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I think, like, this group of players is the same group of players that got, what, top four, four years in a row, got to the Champions League final, like, challenged for the league. They're not bad players. You look, like, you look at West Ham's squad and that's, that's player for player, that's nowhere near the level of our squad. And look what they're doing, like, they're miles ahead of us this year, which is just, I think that's just a bit of a poor excuse, really, for what's going on. Yeah, and we, we've gone backwards since, like, Marino came in, he had that little, like, spur at the start of this season, and then we've really gone backwards. We're sort of mm. in the same position we were last season, when he's had, he had quite a few players in the summer, like Bale, Reguilon, and he hasn't really improved the team at all. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, well, well, yeah, he's, he's turned these players worse, <laughs> if anything. I mean, they, 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 I mean, they came out of the traps flying. I mean, there's a great start to the season, and everyone looks sharp and fit, and uh, and now they're just kind of just shadows of them, their former selves. It's just, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a mystery what's going on. I mean, yeah, you don't just turn into a bad player overnight. I mean. You can accept. I mean, Dyer's always had it in him to like throw a few stray passes, and yeah, and uh, Sissoko's the same. I mean, the, the last two matches, Sissoko fumbled, and then they and then Man United scored. Mm. Dyer fumbled with it all. He, he, yeah, he did a couple of bad passes. And uh, yeah, they went on to score, or he was just flat footed and ball watching. I think to Toby maybe might have been a bit guilty for that, but yeah, they're, they're all just, they're, yeah, they're, they're, they're all kind of like walking around like a load of zombies. It's just, and like, um, I was just going to say that they just don't look like they care at all. Like, you see Loris and Aurier like laughing and joking at full time after yesterday. It's just a bit of a kick in the <laughs> teeth because, like, they obviously it doesn't mean anything to them. Well, yeah, I mean, all, all these players can change clubs, but we can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're stuck with them. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. They, they, I mean, yeah. They, 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 I suppose they, they're, they're entitled to talk to their teammates if uh, from other clubs, and but yeah, after after a terrible performance. Oh, I mean, I've seen worse performances. I mean, we are the, the two-all draw specialists, aren't we? Yeah. 
I've, I've, I've seen I've seen worse performances. I mean, to be honest with you, all four of those goals were ridiculous. I mean, it probably should have been a nil-nil draw. But, mm. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, all... all um, yeah, I mean, it, I, I don't know. I don't know. It, 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 we seem to be going around in circles. I just, I just don't know. It's like there's no real uh, like, clear plan. Like we go from playing four back four the other day, yeah, and then it, suddenly it's back five with two defensive midfielders. It's like, and then we still concede two goals. So it's like, what's the point in playing so defensive if we're still gonna concede anyway? I, I just don't really. It doesn't seem like he knows his best team, even though he's been here nearly two years now. Or he has been two years, I don't know. Well, yeah, you'd, you'd like to think you'd have a bit more consistency, wouldn't you? You'd like to think there'd be a a bit more um, solidity in the back. I mean, because, yeah, ch chopping and changing. I mean, and I know all the pundits say this, but I mean, they have played football. So, <laughs> so I think there's an element of truth there. I mean... What was Mourinho saying? He, I, can't, I can't remember now. He's, he he says so many funny things, but yeah, just just the inconsistency. I mean, we had the best defense in the league under Poch, and uh, for a period anyway, and uh, and that was through consistent. That was through consistency and having two solid centre halves, two good full backs. And uh, and yeah, we just haven't got any of that. Yeah, well, like we can't even do the simple things. Like some of the passing yesterday was absolutely awful. Like, well, barely yeah, you're, it's the fundamental. Sorry, sorry, Jay. No, you go ahead. Just <laughs> <laughs> really pass the ball. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 these are the fundamentals. I mean, Dyer and Sissoko. I mean. The two, the two that spring to mind, but everybody's at it really. I don't know if there is just lack of confidence, um, a lack of uh, self belief. I mean, same thing, really, isn't it? But um, just, just yeah, just nerves. I just, I just don't know. Yeah, I just, I just don't know out of how they fix it. I, I, don't, I don't think they know themselves. Otherwise, they'd be doing it, wouldn't they? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just the fundamentals are, are all wrong. I think, uh... and it's just so like Kane bails us out every game. Like, I don't even know where we'd be in the league if we didn't have Kane or Kane was injured. Like, in a bright pickle. Mm. Yeah. Well, I saw a stat like from the Liverpool away game when we lost in the last minute to now. If the table was done from them, we'd be 18. But across those twelve or thirteen games, we'd be eight. Yeah, yeah. Which, which in previous years, we we tallied it up. Yeah, there was tallies made over like three seasons, and uh, we, we we we'd be top or second every single time. Yeah. But in the last couple of or last season and a half, couple of seasons maybe. Yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah. We've gone totally the other way. I mean, it just the the, the shift in. Yeah, in the in the the mentality of the team is just gone. Yeah, upside down, really. And like, and like when when Jose come in, he was meant to be this like huge like mentality guy, won everything, but he seems to have have had sort of like a reverse effect. Like we've almost become more Spursy with the like Europa League exit and just like yeah. the West Ham game. So many games like that where it's reverted to. The Tottenham of like older like AVB kind of time. Yeah, there's no yeah. Uh, creativity or attacking plan either. Like last night, both our goals came from Everton mistakes. Like you mm. said, Marco, we didn't create an actual real big chance. It was all from them making mistakes. And then we're just so bad at the back. Like the second goal, like they just walked through our defence. It, it was so easy. Yeah, yeah, that, that. I mean, it was well finished. I mean, we probably, probably always think we should have kept Sigerson over Lamella. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, he is good at finishing. But, yeah, given given the amount of time he had to to take such a shot, I mean, yeah, it just, just shows that how, how open and uh, 
and loose our defences. It's just, I mean, yeah, you could have got a, the Titanic through that, that <laughs> defence. I mean, it, yeah, it's just, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's hard to know what's going on behind the scenes. It's hard to know if, if Ledley's got much input in the in the defence. I hope not. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's not not done very well with with the defensive coaching. Yeah. I mean, we, we all love Ledley and, you know, I mean, I'll, wouldn't everyone bad, say a bad word about him, but, but yeah, there, there, there's, um, maybe, maybe there's just too many, too many philosophies going on and, and n n n nobody's really gelling with, with anything. And, uh, and yeah, chop, the chop, like you said, Joe, the chopping and changing of the, I mean, the whole team, especially the back four. There's no, just, there's no, no solidity there. So no, no, I, no. You, oh, so, sorry, Marco. Sorry. Um, I was, uh, I was just going to say, um, about what you were mentioning yesterday, Joe, with uh, feeling sorry for Rodon, like learn, trying to learn his trade, and he's got a different centre back next to him every game at the moment, like, and he's like consistently sort of the best player in our back four. But he's he can't get a consistent partner to go with it, so it's just every, like I think that's partly the reason for the passing and everything because the communication is just so bad because then they never it's never the same defense every game. Yeah, well, yeah, I, th I think that's the key, isn't it? Consistency is always the key to anything successful. Mm. Um, and the, he, I mean, he, he must know. Jose must know his team by now, unless he just keeps on falling out with them. Or, yeah. or I, I mean, this is a bit of a mystery. But I mean, I'll, yeah, I mean, it, it, it just just needs some consistency, and I, I I just don't think they're they're up for it. I mean, they they'll all do something decent, and they'll, they'll all make massive mistakes. Dyer and Sanchez at the back. Will, will always make a really big mistake in any game, at least one, and whether that results in conceding a goal. So, yeah, he's obviously got no confidence in them. They pick up on this, and instead of saying, "Well, I'm going to work for the manager," it, it just has the adverse effect. So, I don't know. He, he's either got the wrong personnel in. They're, they're, they're either. So they're either not gelling with him or he's not gelling with them or they're not gelling with each other. But, I mean, they play with each other for years after these players, so... Yeah, it's just yeah, strange, yeah. like, the way they, like, they just don't seem to, like... I think Larice alluded to it after we went out in the Europa League. Like, there's not that, like, togetherness there anymore. There's so much divide between players and the team and Mourinho, who likes Mourinho, who doesn't. It's like completely different from under Pochettino. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There, there is, I mean, that, that in itself speaks volumes, doesn't it? That there is a divide. It, it just, just shows you that there, there's something not right. I mean, I, I've always been one to back the manager, whatever. Um, but, I, I mean, I'm, I'm finding it harder and harder to do it. Yeah. It, but, it, like the, 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 the longer we, we, we see football like this, and I mean... And I, I've actually turned turned on some of the players rather than the manager because because I, I actually want it to work, but I just I just don't know if the timing's right for Jose to be at Spurs and and because he, he's just not going to get the backing that he, he has he's, he's had anywhere else. Mm, and and he, Porto maybe yeah yeah and I was gonna say that it's just like it was a punt Mourinho it hasn't worked and I think just the sooner we cut our losses the better because it's just gonna get more more and more rotten the more it goes on and I think he's clearly not the right manager to rebuild under because he he's never stayed at a club more than three years um, yeah. so. You get you get a fresh new manager in, similar to what we have with Poch. You can start a new a new sort of chapter and a new, new rebuild to get us back to where where we all want to be. Yeah, yeah. Just build. I mean, I, I I think 
I mean, that's going backwards a little bit. That's why I feel a little bit sorry for him because mm. because the, the the team hasn't been rebuilt. I mean, we had that eighteen month gap in rebuilding the team. Never replaced players. Never replaced uh, the ballet. Never replaced the Ericsson, Really, just 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 just, just, just they never replaced really key players and um and then yeah just having a drought of signings for a year and a half just uh yeah i, I, I think it's well it's been shown for a while but yeah like, you look we only, we only replaced um rose this summer with regulon we've not replaced uh yan the tongan really um, maybe rodon but it's not at the same level we never really replaced Carl Walker. Like Ori has never really been up to it. We haven't replaced yeah. Ericsson. We only replaced Dembele last summer, and on Dembele took a whole year to sort of get up running. Yeah. Um. Like we just don't really see. We don't replace. We didn't even replace Lorente until we got Vinicius. <laughs> in here. Like we just don't replace positions. And yeah, and yeah. and like it, it sort of adds to that not wanting to be there and from the team because they've got no competition for places as well. Like, you know, you're safe in the side. You, oh, my thing just went off. Um, you know, you're safe in the side. So what's the point in going the extra mile in training, like just challenging yourself more because they know they're going to be in the team every week or like in, in the squad. And I, I just think Mourinho was just a stupid appointment, really. At the time, obviously, obviously I say that in hindsight, but, like, going from Pochettino to Mourinho is, like, two ends of the scale. Like, it's just a completely different type of manager. And it didn't, re it didn't really make sense in terms of, like, football decisions from the board. And, like, for, na for me now, I think he has to go. I don't know if you two agree, but I'm pretty, I think he's, he's just got to go now. Well... I mean, like I say, I, you know, I wanted to back him because, you know, that's the manager we had. You know, Le Le Levy wanted him. He sought him out, you know. he. But, I mean, again, he's, 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 he's just, he just hasn't made a successful choice, has he? He's just... Uh, yeah. And he, he either you, you get Jose in with a, a good, solid backbone, and we haven't had that. Wherever he's been, he's had a good, solid backbone, or He's been given the time to to sort it all out. I mean, he's, he's not, he's not going to get either. He's not going to get the time. He's not going to get the backing. And and uh, yeah, because we haven't replaced or strengthened the team in years, we, we just got a weak defence. So we, we we just we just makeshift defenders. Uh, we, I mean, a, a lot of the players that I really like, but. You know, they, they, some of them are coming out of the youth, youth team and uh, just haven't got the experience, or or they they've just just playing out out position. Yeah. And uh, I mean, like even last night, I mean, what, what did we have? We had uh, Lucas playing at left back. Yeah, it's just um, I mean, he, 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 he did a job, but that, that, that's not his position. It's square pegs in round holes, isn't it? And then. Yeah, and like for, for me, like someone like Tanganga played well last season whenever he played, and now Mourinho has just decided he's a right back, that he's a centre back. Like Dyer yeah, that's what setting up Sanchez does play Tanganga or Rodon more. Like at least young players will learn from the mistakes. Like you keep moaning at players for making individuals' mistakes, but he keeps picking the same players. Yeah, well, yeah. And um, I, I, I just don't think, well, yeah, they, they, they're not just going to get better overnight. Um, so I, I think I think it is probably time for a change. I don't know if it's worth changing until next year now. I mean, who, who who's, who's going to come in, I suppose? That's going to be an, our next. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> your, your next question, Joe. But, um, yeah, I, I, th I, th I think that the foundations need to be sorted out. Levy wanted this. Levy wanted Jose. And uh, again, he's, it hasn't worked. So, I mean, I don't know. E either 
Enik or Levy, whoever's making these decisions and not backing them, you know, it's, it's time they, they fall on their sword. Yeah, they just make so many bad footballing decisions. Like, yeah, 20 years, they've f- fallen on what? Two or three good managers and Pochettino wasn't even the first choice when they got him and he exceeded all expectations. Yeah. I just think we like whatever manager comes in like we'll talk about in a minute but whoever comes in it's going to be the similar sort of thing we're going to be sort of every now and then have a good season where we might get fourth or get to a cup final or something but then we'll just drop back down to seventh eighth like we've got a stadium of a like proper big super club but then you're not going to invest in the players just play there it doesn't make any sense yeah yeah I mean yeah we're it's yeah, it's, it's like you touched on. We, we we have been punching above our weight, finishing top four with the uh, with Poch, with the players we got. I mean, we, we had we had good players and um, you know, a lot 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 of youngsters, full of excitement. Delhi Alley, you know, playing brilliantly and and like yeah, good defence, good midfield, and uh, yeah, and Harry Kane. I mean, it, it, it yeah, it, 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 it was a. Uh, and Son, but you know, he's I mean, apart from Harry Kane, I mean, he, he he can go missing from time to time, but you know, you forgive him because if it wasn't for him, where would we be? Yeah, and I, I, for me, like all the players you talk about there, they're all players that were coached better, they weren't bought at that level, they were all coached better, even Kane, like out of old, they all came in and Pochettino took them up a level, Deli Ali. We, yeah, we, when was the last player we bought? And straight away, he was amazing and a really good player. I know it's hard for that to happen, but other clubs managed to do it. When was the last time we bought someone who didn't take, like, two years to be a really good player? Even, like, Son took two years. Like, we don't that, have players ready to go into the team. That, that comes down to what you said earlier with Enix footballing decisions. So, like, we, could have had, we could have had Bruno Fernandes... Um, those were Jose's two first signings he wanted. He wanted Diaz and Fernandez. He gets Gedson, Jedson Fernandez and Rodon in the summer. Like it, it's it. Like the problem is Jose, but it's deeper than that. Like it's the board. They just every every manager they just don't back enough, and it is eventually going to lead to it's like the two windows we didn't sign one player because they thought, oh, we're safe. Like, we don't need to we don't need to go into our pockets but the squad goes stale which is like what we're seeing now is a consequence of those years of not back in pot and then they spent 40 mil on Sessignon and Jack Clark who probably played a combined total of about five games for us like I quite like Sessignon don't get me wrong but you could have spent that money on Diaz or Fernandez or someone who would have improved the team at the time. Like, Sessignon probably won't get into that side until two or three years after we've signed him for 30 million or whatever it was. Like, what? that's a big amount of money that you're spending with getting nothing back for a few years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, the, the list is endless. I mean, we could have got dozens of players at, uh, at bargain prices. But, I mean, I, I remember... Before you guys were born, the, the, every season there was a marquee player. We always get a marquee player, whether it was a Klinsman, G- uh, Gascoigne, Ginola. We 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 just spend money on one marquee player. I mean, this was before Enic, but and now, no, I'm not saying we should go down that route, but we should be aiming to be at that place where we got good foundation, good solid structure and a backbone. And all we need to do is just sign one good player each year. Yeah. And just upgrade and replace. Harry Redknapp, he was always one for, there's no point in buying someone unless it's an improvement on someone. I mean, we, we, we just, uh, maybe that's why Redknapp and... Uh, and Levy parted ways because, you know, they never never saw eye to eye on that. But Yeah, because it was like um, when we were like second behind Chelsea and the Leicester season, we were probably one or two players away from really, really going for titles. And that, and they didn't do it. They left it. And now we're probably £400 million worth of players away from challenging for proper titles. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, because um, mm. yeah, which is just it's just like a sort of realization to them. Uh, also, with how West Ham are doing, like how West Ham, whose owners like are probably worse than Enoch, uh, uh, ahead of us, which is just like shows the sort of how far we've fallen from where we were. Like, it's, it's like kind of brings it to life a bit. Yeah. But, but perhaps we, we, we're just, you know, a bit deluded ourselves as fans. Perhaps we should just yeah. realise, actually, we, 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 we were lucky with Poch and uh, he, he, he really, we were punched above our weight. He really did get us where we're going. But really, we, we, we are still, until we, we get loads of money, behind us we are still kind of just maybe a Europa Cup team still I think mm. the issue is we can all accept that like I can accept that we're not that great like we had a few good seasons where we punched above our weight considering the amount we've spent but then when you when you have a stadium like that and the infrastructure with the training ground that we do and we we're almost promised that we we're going to come a big club and then we and then we sort of fall so far backwards. We we have suit like yeah we don't have that great an overall score, but we have like unbelievable players like Kane, Son, Bale, like Reguilon's still a really good player. Undumbele, like we should be doing better than we are. Really, I know we shouldn't probably be up there for the league and that, but we I think with that squad we should make top four. We got a better squad than Leicester, West Ham, Everton. Um, Teams like that. I mean, less time have probably been doing better in the market than we have the last maybe couple of seasons. But yeah, I mean, I know what you mean. I mean, the, yeah, on paper there was a yeah there was a point where we we we, we were far superior to these. Le these Leicester's yeah, Leicester's rec Leicester's recruitment is is second to none though. They they they've got really good recruitment and stuff. Yeah, whereas we spent a hundred million on Undembele, Lo Celso, Sessegnon, Clark, and Bergvin. Only Undembele really is good enough for that team, in my opinion. And yeah, so Sanchez was what 40, 50 million. Exactly. Like we we when was the last player? Like obviously we had that period where we had Paul Mitchell when we bought like Alderwald, um, Deli Ali, all these players for quite cheap and they got better. But now recently we've just been buying rubbish players. Well, not rubbish, but players that aren't just just aren't good enough for quite a lot of money. Yeah, well, we 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 got a scout that only wants to work like two weeks of the year, doesn't he? January. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So 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 some things. Yeah, I mean that that's just that's just another element, isn't it? That, that, that that's got to be got to be looked at, really. Yeah. I mean, it either. I mean, it is bad timing as well with COVID and the stadiums being empty. No revenue. We're missing. We're missing out on millions, millions of pounds, hundreds of millions of pounds of revenue in sausage rolls alone, <laughs> <laughs> and pints and food and yeah and all, yeah. That, that, the whole the whole day out, the whole package is uh, and like concerts and stuff too. Concerts, American football. Yeah, all, all, all this, all this is has put a massive dent in it and put us backwards. I mean, it's a shame we weren't at Wembley during this period. I mean, no, no one could have foreseen that, but it's uh, it's just the, yeah, the timing couldn't have been worse. So yeah, just just tr just trying to be a little bit realistic about it as well. But so yeah, I mean, who knows if that's put us back five years or a couple of years or whatever. But I, th I think the only way you can compete, in, I mean, history, recent history has proven it. The teams that have won stuff are the teams that have spent the most. Yeah. As, as horrible as that sounds, I mean, it never used to be that way. But, but yeah, the, the, the teams with the most money, I mean, Chelsea, Man City, Man United and Liverpool have always had quite a bit of money. We won't talk about Woolwich. But uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, that, that those those teams have kind of been propelled into well, 
Chelsea and Man City. Were, well, Chelsea was more knocking on the door and then they got loads of money and that's what propelled them into super success, as, as much as it pains me to say it. And, and Man City, a similar thing. But unless we either wait, I don't know, five or ten years for the, uh, for the funds to build up again or someone comes in and buys the club. They're the only two ways I can see us going to that next level. Yeah. So either patience or new owners. Who would you say, who would you say you'd want as the next manager? Who who would be your number one target? I don't know. I'd I'd like Poch back with uh, <laughs> with yes. new owners because because. Uh, but I, I, I don't know. I, I just feel it doesn't matter who we get in. I just feel yeah. it, it, we're just going around in circles. Um, I mean, m m maybe... Oh, I, 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 I still think Scotty Parker needs probably to cut his teeth for a couple more years at Fulham. Yeah. Or, mm. or out there. I, 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 think, I think he's good. Uh, at Nunos... Nuno Santos, I, I, I like I like his style of football. That will suit the Spurs way, but he might think better of coming to the Tottenham mm. if he. <laughs> yeah, I'd say Nate. So, Nagelsmann. Some of that pedigree. I think for me, we have to get Nagelsmann. I don't think there's any other option. Um, I know yeah, I agree. I am, but. Oh. He was off the table. I thought he was off to buy Munich or something. So there's rumours, but I think we got to do everything we can to get him. I think he, he would be that sort of potch manager who could coach and improve our team without needing loads of money. Because realistically, that whoever comes in isn't going to get loads of money. So I think we have to get him. And if we don't get him, I'm really not sure to be honest. Who would? Yeah, I mean, he, he, he would be up there. I mean, a lot, a lot of people like Rogers as well. I mean. I don't. Rogers, you know, he's he's a nearly man, isn't he? Um, yeah. But uh, I mean, you know, there could be worse managers out there. I mean, we probably might end up with him, but I mean, he'd be really expensive. Yeah, Nagelsmann would would probably be the ideal candidate out of all the ones we mentioned. But yeah, yeah I, I, I I just thought that's why I didn't mention him because I, I thought he was off to Bayern Munich. So. He probably will go there, but. We, we should at least try our best to get him. If not him, yeah, I think Rogers probably second choice. And third, maybe, like, I don't even know, between, like, Scott Parker, maybe, like, someone like Graham Potter. I don't know, someone like that. Mm. Not yeah, I saw shouts for um, Benitez. <laughs> it was no. no way. No. Well, I don't know. I'll just... I just think it's a bit of a poison chalice whoever comes in. I mean, mm. there's, there's worse managers out there than Benitez. I mean, you know, getting Steve Bruce in would just depress me. <laughs> but, um, I mean, we'll, we'll probably end up with David Moyes or something like that. It was like, oh, look, yeah, yeah he, he can... He's done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean he's, he's, not, he's not a bad manager, really. But um, whether, whether we want that kind of style of football... Or yeah, I mean it's just, it's just not exciting, but perhaps we, we, we need just a bit of boring just to steady the shit. Yeah. We've we've had that for a year and a half. <laughs> oh, I, I, I've, I've had it for a decade and a half, even longer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, do you do you think we've got any chance in the cup final? Do you give us any sort of hope or not? Um. Yeah, maybe a, a, a fool's, fool's hope. I think it's, it's an on-the-day thing, isn't it? I think um, if you turn up, up on the day with, uh, yeah, with a bit of belief and, uh, and just, yeah, with, with a bit of confidence, but we just haven't been playing like that, so... Yeah, I don't hold that much hope, <laughs> to be honest with you. But it all depends what Man City team turn up. I mean, they're, they're, their form's a bit 
I mean, he's been really good and then stuttering a little bit. So, and the final sandwich in between two Champions League games for them, I think. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I just take any advantage we can, any edge <laughs> we, we, we could have over them, but they still got a big enough squad to accommodate plenty of uh, tournaments and and matches. So, yeah. Yeah, I am... Um, it's, it's a one-off game, but... They, it's, it's, it's sort of one game that you you're happy with Mourinho for. Yeah, you know, like he's he sort of, he he loves the final, and like if there's one manager you need in the final, it, it is him. Like as much as he's been awful, and like we we want him gone, we 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 just need him for this last game. <laughs> yeah, I think he'll almost see it as like I know I'm off. I know I haven't done great here, but if I can just win this final I'm Tottenham's most successful manager for the last what 10 years or whatever so I think he'll yeah. as in like if he wins an ego final, boost yeah he can leave we can sack him and he can say well I won more than your last five managers combined so I don't think although it wouldn't for me it doesn't matter if we won that I'd still want him to go because he's he's not going to work but I think he could sort of turn around and say look I won you a trophy. You wanted a trophy. I won you a trophy. But I, even with Mourinho, I personally can't see it happening. I think City's squad is just... They've got three world-class players for every position, whereas we have two world-class players in our squad, in my opinion. <laughs> well, at the moment, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah I, I mean, I, I, I think... I mean, that three-man defence, I don't know if that was a dress rehearsal last night for, <laughs> for mm. Rodon's the next cup tied though. Sorry? Rodon's cup tied, so he can't even... Oh, is it? All oh, right. Um, Which yeah, is brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Just what we need. I mean, well, I mean, he, 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 I mean, he was probably one of the better, the better players on the pitch last night. In, but he, he still made a couple of... Uh, Areas, but I mean, he's he's young and uh, he's got, you know, he's, he's allowed to have a few more mistakes in, in him than uh, Dyer and, but I mean, well, maybe we'll play Dyer, Sanchez, and Toby as a back three and and uh, yeah, and uh, build from around there. I mean. Reggie doesn't seem to be. He's been awful since he's come back yeah. from injury. Yeah, he doesn't seem to be hitting the ground running, does he? Since he came back from injury, so plays like he plays like Bambi on ice. Like he's, he's just technique's so weird as well. Like just the way he kicks the ball and stuff, it just looks so unorthodox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's um, yeah. There's, there's, there's something not right there, but I. I, I don't think we we want to have him as a more in that defensive role. I mean, Ben Davis, I presume, he's still injured, isn't he? Yeah. Who mm. I don't think we've got any choice. I mean, even Ben Davis in the back three might, <laughs> might might be better than, but that ain't happening. So, so yeah, and uh, I mean, pretty much a similar team to what was played last night. Maybe a similar formation. I, th I think maybe we, we can we can expect that, but. Mm, maybe maybe the Southampton game as well will give us a bit of an indicator because that's on Wednesday. Oh, is that so, Wednesday? What yeah, that? In, unless he rests and just goes like full throttle for the final. But I can't. I reckon he'll do like trial a couple of things that it are for the final because like the league's pretty much gone now. Like there's nothing to play for. I'd I'd like to see Bale play in the final. Like. I know a lot's been made of like Mourinho and Bale, but like he, it's just so frustrating. Like his big comeback season, he plays well for four games, then suddenly he's out of the team again. Like it's just so annoying. Like he's such a good player, and last night we needed a goal, and he just could leave him on the bench. Like I just don't. Understand. Mm. Especially mm. when like every 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 player on that pitch was awful in that first half against Arsenal. 
and he's just scapegoated and brought off at 60. And it, even Kane was like awful that first half. But and then he we don't see him again. It's just this classic Jose thing of putting players on sort of like a naughty step type thing or considering them bad eggs and stuff, which is like when, once you get in his bad books, like there's just he's too stubborn to realize he's wrong. Like, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. I mean, but Bale's a, a big game player. Um, you know, he, he's <laughs> if, if what's the point in having if, we, if we're not going to use him? Mm. Is a he cost a lot of money to to have him here for him to just sit on the bench? You know. I think yeah. luckily, luckily next season, I think he'll outlive Mourinho, hopefully, and next season we'll get to see him play a lot more, hopefully, under under a new manager. Because I think most, I don't really understand Mourinho, like your job's at risk and you're not playing one of the best players in world football for the sake yeah. of it. So it's just strange. Yeah, shooting himself in the foot, really. Or, or he's, he's just, you know, the the... the the, 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 he's just the boss, and he, he just won't have have it any other way. Yeah. Um, you know, he does have a tendency to fall out with people that I mean, depending on what's been going on behind the scenes. If he's been turning up late with his golf clubs, <laughs> if, if 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 that's if that's the reason why, or if he's just not putting a shift in in training, and uh, but um, I mean, but. Deli Ali, you could see him trying to make an effort and train and harder than he was and not not moaning at all. And he, he's, I mean, what he, he played what two minutes last night. I mean, I'd I'd like to see more of him be given well, the opportunity to be given a chance. He, yeah, that's that's the same with Bale. Like he came back in, didn't he, Delhi? And then he had that good. He had scored that bicycle kick in the Europa League, and then scored a goal as an own goal on the end but he contributed a lot to to well it could have yeah. been his goal you know but and then so he was good looked like he was back on track type thing yeah and then he's just back out the squad like I just don't get it yeah yeah he's another player I'd like to see in a cup final because I I know he can just make something out of nothing mm. and um if if uh I mean, maybe he just can't rely on or, or end on Bele. I mean, he, 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 he didn't have a great game yesterday. No, but, no um, it was, nothing was coming off, really. Like, usually when he turns and stuff, you're just left sort of in awe at his yeah. skill and stuff. But nothing, like, it was just coming off the wrong foot and just, like, everything was going wrong last night for him. Gave it away it's only, time, it's okay. 50 minutes. Yeah. 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 Um, last, last point I wanted to mainly cover was Kane. Obviously, lots been made about like his future, whether he wants to stay. Like, there's been a lot of said like that he'd want to leave, which I think is fair enough. He he probably deserves to play for a better team, and he probably does want to leave. But I personally don't think he will go. No, I don't think anyone will pay what we want, considering his age, injury r- record. Do you both think he'll stay? Um. Really? Did you say that Sky Sports have mentioned Kane leaving? I haven't seen that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> Never mention it every single game, every single season. Yeah. Yeah. Every uh, single minute. Yeah. I mean, yeah. They, they. They. I mean, if if it was at Man United, they, they would be talking about him going to Barcelona, or Real Madrid, or Tottenham, would they? No. Yeah. It's. Uh, no. It, it's um. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's always been the same with Sky and and all. Uh, yeah, all, all the media they they, they got they got nothing better to report than that they'll just try and sell your players. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I'd, I'd like to think he'll stay. I mean, I suppose that there's two there's two ways to look at it, isn't there? He could end up being the Premier League's top scorer, albeit without winning a trophy. But it could be the Premier League's top scorer. Uh, but yeah, like you say, will, will he will he be sold 
for 200 million. I mean, he's probably worth more than that because I mean, he's playing center half last night. So if you, he's, he's probably like a 70 million pound player in each position he plays. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, mid- midfield, up front, and defence. So yeah, probably two hundred and ten million. I price him, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, no, no one's going to play it with with these dodgy ankles. Mm, exactly, and and yeah, twenty eight years of age, yeah. dodgy an- ankle injury uh, history, and you've got a twenty year old Halland who who's got a seventy five million release clause in twenty twenty two. So are you going to? You're not going to go all out for Kane, are you? When you get ten, what ten years out of Haaland? Yeah, yeah. I, I think. Yeah, I mean, he, he's Haaland is probably the, the yeah a better prospect for the future at that price. Mm. Uh, and no one who can really afford Kane. The only clubs I can think of are sort of City and PSG. PSG, yeah. I don't know. Don't Madrid have got Real Madrid have got. Yeah, and like uh, front, just uh, the price, moment. it's his wages as well. He's on like two hundred fifty grand a week. It's it's not a cheap investment. Like someone would have to stump up some big money for him. I, I just think he's sort of going to be trapped at Spurs. Sort of, he should. Uh, I, I, I don't know, yeah. but um, I mean, p- p- my heart would want him to stay. I mean, my my head says. I mean, doesn't want him to leave either. But my my my, my head thinks thinking logically. If I was him, you know, you probably want a bit of success, but I, I just, I just can't see him going to another Premier League club. And he's, he's a kind of, he's a family man. He loves London. He, he, not like Janola said, he, he ain't going to West Ham, and he, <laughs> he ain't going to Chelsea. So I, I don't know what Janola was smoking, but uh, I, I can, I can only see, I can only see him, you know. Hopefully, staying at Spurs or going abroad. Yeah. If if someone comes in with a you know a, a good offer and maybe a swap deal for someone else, mm, maybe maybe Poch might butter him up a bit with being at PSG. That's maybe that might happen. Yeah, try, try, yeah, swapping for Mbappe. Neymar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll trade them in. Um, yeah, I mean that's uh, yeah. I mean it's a bit of a poser. You 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 wouldn't you wouldn't argue if he left. You can blame him really, but it's right. just a shame that we've sort of failed his ambition and like failed him as a player. It, it just feels a bit like that, really. It's just a, yeah. which is a shame. I, th- I think I think the board have got a take some responsibility for that because they're, they're the ones that pick and choose the manager and if, if they're not investing, building a team around him, which, I mean, a, a, any if he goes anywhere, well, if he go anywhere in the Premier League, they, they'd build a team around him. Mm, yeah. Um, but if, if, you, if you don't do that, then, uh, then, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's this mystery tour we seem to end up on all the time, you know, and it ends up back at the manager, back at the board, blaming the, some of the players around him. But, um, I mean, just before the game last night, watching that Kane's 100, first 100 goals in the Premier League. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was like, a, like a different person, like di- different teams. I mean, the team, mm. the team was... Like so rejuvenated, seems so rejuvenated. It just, it and it was like so, mm, that like that video that I sent to you, Marco, the the one of the like sixteen seventeen season yeah. like, review, the t- the bit of a tearjerker one. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, that, yeah it that, was. It, they were just so young, so <laughs> young and hungry, and they all looked in the peak like condition. Yeah, and we're just such a good team. Whereas what it is now, it just seems like a shadow of. Or what we had well yeah and instead of turning that youthful team into like a mature solid you know winning um, winning team yeah yeah winning unbeatable team by just fine-tuning it here and there instead of you know not upgrading or 
or yeah, or replacing certain key players. And uh, yeah, just, just, just having unreliable players. I mean, yeah, you'd be frustrated. I mean, that part of you makes me think, well, you're going to have to restructure the whole team because, I mean, Hoybier, you know, he, 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 even he's, he's a bit lacklustre now. I mean, he needs more support around him. I mean, I, I think Sissoko, I don't know, he, he's, 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 his control lets him down. Yeah, and I think he started playing more like him. I mean, he needs another player around him that he can rely on. Yeah, he's more of a, a box to box breaking up the midfield. I think he needs someone behind him. I mean, I, I, if I was going to play yesterday, I'd rather he was in a defensive midfield role behind behind him, not in not in def, not in as a centre half. Yeah, like Roy Keane was saying, Dyer is not got the ability to play centre half like he's no. just not no good enough. He, he, yeah. he can back the centre halves up he can but he, he yeah he, he's, he's not he's not reliable enough he makes mm. too many vital mistakes yeah um but yeah I, I think need a proper defensive midfielder behind him and then that would give Kane because I think you don't want to see Kane I mean he, he he did his ankle playing in defence last night, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, he, he was he rolled over. That twat with Rich Allison, wasn't it? Landed yeah. Yeah, yeah, clumsy oaf. Yeah, he just was rolled over his uh, his ankle. But um, yeah, I mean, he shouldn't be having to play centre half, Harry Kane. So with. with I know I probably went off on a tangent there with about Hoybier. I just thought he, he he needed a mention because he was yeah he was shocking last night. Yeah, but I mean he he has been he has been really good and uh, most of the season. Um, mm. But I, I, I think I think even the toxicity of this this season and this team is just it's it's infected him <laughs> and, and, and yeah yeah. And he's he's just turning into. I mean, he's late. He was late for certain balls. He was mispassing them. He was just. So I, I think I think there's too much of that going on. But I mean, if you sell Harry Kane, I mean, what, what are they going to do? They're going to re, re rebuild with the money, or are they yeah. just going to pocket it? Or they're they, 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 they just going to put a, li, a liquor Julux paint on the uh, Lily White House? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah yeah well I, th I think we'll wrap up there we covered quite a lot of bases there um, yeah sure thank you both for coming on it's my right. pleasure pleasure <laughs>